This nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update, episode 861, Christmas Crits, RuneScapes 2021, PVM Meta. I think it's clear that Croesus made bows compete with Hydric's ammunition by way of splintering arrows, and I'll yeah. turn that over to you, Thaxi. Is that... We I don't had know a long, people we had a long discussion anybody. about that when he came out. Mm-hmm. Do you still feel the same way? Is there anywhere where you wouldn't yeah. use splinterings? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I mean, they're still there. When we talked about them, they were, you know, I think 9K a piece. They were very yeah. expensive. Currently, they're like, what, 1.5K each? Mm-hmm. Very cheap. Yeah, or, or less. Super cheap. Less. Um, I mean, the so... I don't know that it's been made clear, right? I think the same thing is happening with these as happened with hot with the criminal bolts where the criminal bolts were released in, what was it? 2018, 2017. Yeah. Um, and people didn't realize that like, Oh, Hey, these things do disgusting damage until t- late 2019, 2020, maybe. Um, and then it took a while for them to catch on everybody to start using Ruby bolts and even longer for people to realize, Oh wait, Hydrix. Oh my gosh, the damage I can put out with Hydrix bolts, especially with, essence of finality being released that was the big like the people who actually do the math and and make all the theory crafting when the aof came out you could suddenly dump a ton of adrenaline very quickly in but it took a long time and i think the same thing is happening with these arrows right um where splintering arrows like if the other thing too is i think a lot of people don't frankly i think a lot of people haven't unlocked um the ability to use these i think a lot of people don't have puncture and salt the wound unlocked from shattered worlds because right because those worlds were those two abilities adventure. were panned and uh paled in comparison to um the the bladed dive p- thank you bladed dive from yeah. shattered and worlds. even again i have an alt that has multiple billion gold worth of bows and that account has bladed dive and does not have uh, salt the wound unlocked yet because bladed dive is actually just that much more useful for moving around the game world um, and, and so that is still like even for low level slayer because you can the cooldown on it resets when you bat, dive to things like it's a great ability um, these arrows are expensive and not useful for things like slayer because you just use tons you're changing of them targets so much if you're changing targets so the use for these right splintering arrows very quickly um, Actually, let me just give a quick them. recap on what they say on the tin before you do that. So, splintering arrows, when you use them, all attacks used for 4.2 seconds after greater dazing shot will also apply stacks of puncture, consuming one arrow per stack during the active period until the target reaches 13 stacks. Reapplying puncture will result in the stack duration being reset to 9 seconds and the bleed damage resetting to its highest hit. Right. Which which is kind of hidden language to say that the damage on these arrows is front-loaded. The first hit does about half the damage of the puncture bleed. Um, so if you reset that bleed every ability, then you get pretty massively increased damage out of it. Um, combination that with having the addition of additional stacks to it, and more than anything, being able to add stacks in a very rapid rate. So most people can stack this in under 10 seconds. With greater yep. ricochet, you can stack it in under 5 Whereas previously it took a minute or more to fully stack the ability, um, and so it it makes puncture a viable source of damage for many situations. Um, given you have to consume ten to you know thirteen of these arrows in order to do that, um, but it is an incredible amount of damage, and it can be stacked with other things. And then as long as you continue to use uh, greater dazing shot, you actually don't need to even be on the arrows. You can just have puncture running as passive damage in the background while you're using Hydrix bolts even, right? Um, and so you can stack this with other things. You don't get as much out of the puncture because you're not constantly refreshing it to get that max damage every hit. Um, but it does do pretty massive damage. Um, on their own, these arrows, just used as uh, main hold switch arrow, no switching at all, they do uh, close to 50,000 damage a minute. Um, comparison, Hydrix bolts uh, are going to be about... F- 40 to 45,000 damage a minute if you're dumping that adrenaline under a death swiftness into dark bow special attacks. Um, so it's, uh, I go back and forth on this, but, but generally speaking, I do believe these areas are incredibly powerful and it can be a great addition to using with other ammo. As long as you can maintain attacking your target. The issue here is that if you stop attacking your target for more than, 
uh, nine seconds with a two-handed ranged weapon, uh, the the stacks will go away, and you lose that benefit. And then you got to fire off those um, arrows again. Right. So targets that have a reflect ability or that have an immune, like the Arc Glacier when the minions come out, like Virago's Reflect, like uh, Web Shielded Rax, um, they make these arrows more expensive to use because you have to restack them. Um, so it it's something you have to be thinking about you know, so that is something that maybe drives people away when there are other options to do damage elsewhere, like magic. Um, but I think these are, these arrows are very strong, and uh, have been. People will eventually figure that out, I imagine. Or if they don't, then cheaper ammo for me. Yeah, and you know, for most of the uh, PVM things I do that um, doesn't have those phase changes in them, and even if they do, you know, have one or two phase changes with them, I will. I will be using these arrows with with the uh with with the Nox longbow. Absolutely. Um yeah. Carapac that comes to mind as a Carapac's the, one of this. the best places to use these. Um you, you never lose stacks on him. I uh, I use it at God Wars 2. I don't know if that's a good idea. Vindictive. Yes. I mean okay. it's 13k per kill. You're going to make more money off of it yeah. out of it. In theory, it should actually do enough damage to heal you back to save you food. Equivalent almost equivalent values in food if you're soul splitting for a lot of those bosses. Right. Um so yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just yeah. also remember that each one of these splintering hits also can activate poison. Part of that huge damage number is that like you also every one point eight seconds you're firing off an additional hit that can do poison damage. And this is, of course, once again, it seems like so far in range, we're talking about continual sleeper after sleeper with these. You can find full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed it, like and subscribe or leave a comment.